السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فذكروني أذكركم واشكروني ولا تكفرون مثل الذي يذكر ربه مثل الذي لا يذكر ربه مثل الحي والميت Alhamdulillah, it's a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He allow us to come in, uh, in such, a, such a workshop that we have. This is the second workshop that, that, that is taking place, place, what is called Tazkiyah workshop. As we spoke of Tazkiyah, Tazkiyah is the inner realities, inner, uh, inner understanding of the person, the inner uh, nutrient the person needs, might think that might need for, but the inner realities that, that we deal with uh, in, in, throughout the world that we see depression, anxiety, and many other anger and all that stuff. That's what Tazkiyah is. Tazkiyah is to purify yourself from, uh, from all that and how you purify yourself. And that's where we're going to begin. My topic is to, to speak about, uh, speak about the, uh, the, the proof of, uh, of these majalis, the dhikr. Where is the proof? Where it was taken? Uh, uh, where it comes? Before I go into it, I would go from, uh, as we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He wanted to make, a, uh, uh, when He created this universe, He wanted to make someone, uh, uh, someone author, some leader, some khalifa over this earth. And He had discussion with the angels, right? Because they were the courtiers, they were the one who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take, uh, 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 they were in the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he asked them, he said that I, I desire to make uh, someone a Khalifa on this universe. So the angels, they objected. He said, he said, uh, he said you're going to make uh, uh, Adam alayhi salam, who is going to cause fasad, who is going to cause chaos into this universe. And us, look at us, and we, we, do, your, uh, uh, we do your tasbih, we, we glorify you, we praise you. We do all this that you want for uh, 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 that you want. So the concept that the, that the angel mentioned was the dhikr of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, was the uh, was glorification, what tasbih of Allah Subhanahu Wa glorification of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and praise of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And he said, uh, and and for this reason, and there's a hadith that comes in uh, in in, Bukh in Bukhari Sharif where it mentions about the people who gather for, uh, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we know, many gatherings take place in this universe, uh, in, the, in this world. They have, they have sports events, millions and millions, billions and billions of dollars of sports events that take place. And there's events that uh, they have different, different purposes. They have different purposes. But, they, but those gatherings that are done solely for the, for the, for, uh, for the, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, 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 it mentioned in a hadith of uh, Abu Hurairah radiallahu an. Uh, he, he said that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Inna lil Inna lillahi malaikatan yatufun turuk." He said there there are some angels that Allah subhanahu wa taala have appointed who are who uh, who are patrolling around the streets, who are walking around the streets, uh, and they're walking around the street. Yalta uh, misuna ahl dik. And they're looking for the people who are, uh, who are conducting dhikr. Looking for a group of people who are condu uh, conducting dhikr. He said, فَإِذَا وَجَدُوا He said, one of, the, one of the angels, as soon as they find these, uh, these gatherings where the dhikr of, only, solely dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking place, he said, for, he said, they start, uh, as soon as they find these gatherings, so it shows that he said, he said that they have to search for these gatherings. Means that if you have to search for something, that means there's something that is very rare. If someone, if you have to search for something, if I tell you, hey, uh, if I tell you, hey, I want to, uh, 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 something that is common, I want to get coffee. You'll be like, oh, just go around the, around the block, you'll find, you find a coffee shop. That is something that, uh, that is everywhere that you could find. But if I say that I'm looking for something, uh, something very special, I'm looking for some certain type of stone or diamond, you would be worried. It's like, there, you have to go to a jewel. You will not be able to. Uh, you're not. You're not be able to guide me to uh, to a shop where they have this particular stone. You would be confused. You would either Google or do something. So that's what. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying. There's these angels. They're uh, they're patrolling around and looking for these gathering. They're searching for these gathering. They're investigating. 
as soon as one of them find these gatherings, one of these angels that Allah SWT appointed, they find these gatherings, they announce to the other angels, they say, come, come here, come here with excitement, with joy. He said, we have, find, we have found those gatherings, we have found the treasures that we were looking for, that we are appointed for. And they said that they were these angels, all of a sudden they start rushing to that gathering and, and they start piling up upon, uh, upon each other as if there's... Uh, uh, and just to, exa uh, to give an example, uh, example to us, when, uh, when we have to rush towards, uh, towards the airport, when as, soon as, as soon as the gate is open to go board in, everyone is rushing towards. Or some, uh, something that you could say, uh, some, something uh, nowadays they have some, uh, something that is released, new, new shoes are released, so everyone's rushing towards the shops. Or Black Friday, everyone's rushing towards the shops to buy uh, the item for cheap. So, so same way, same way. These angels start rushing towards these gathering, and they start piling upon, on uh, upon each other till they reach to the to the heavens. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is all knowing. He knows what uh, what's happening. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ask uh, the angels while He knows that the, uh, uh, what is the, uh, why uh, why those people are gathered, and what is uh, He He knows better than the, than the angels. But as I mentioned, the, the, uh, the angels, they, they made an objection on, uh, in the decision of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm going to create, uh, create Adam alayhi salam. And they said, why do you need to create Adam alayhi salam? It's to clarify the objection. To clarify the objection and, uh, and, uh, and to prove his mighty and to prove his order. So he says, so what, do, uh, uh, what is happening? He said, there is, there, there, there's, uh, there's some people who are gathered are remembering you. And they said, there's some people who are here, they're there to remember you. And, and he said, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do, do they have seen me? Do, uh, do they have seen, uh, seen me? They said, they say, he said, they said, he said, well, he said, by the sword of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have not seen you, ya Allah. And they said, if they now have seen me, so uh, he said, what if, they have see, uh, what if they have seen me? What would they do? He said that their, uh, their search for you and their remembrance for you would even increase. And they would, uh, they would be eager and they would be impulsed towards, uh, towards your remembrance even more. And they said, what do they want? And he said, well, uh, Allah SWT says, uh, uh, to them, what, do, what do these people want? What these, uh, these uh, my, beloved, uh, my, my beloved servants, what do they want? And they said, they want, uh, they, uh, they want Jannah from you. They want Jannah. And they said, that, uh, he said uh, and, and he said, what, did, did they have seen Jannah? He said, no, they have not seen heaven, they have not seen Jannah. And, 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 and um, he said, what if they see Jannah, what would happen to them? So the angels, they said, they will be extremely, uh, extremely desired towards, towards Jannah. They will do anything. They will be extremely eager towards, uh, to go in Jannah. And, and Allah said, what do, they, what do they prevent themselves from? What, what they're asking for me to be, stay away from? He said, they want to stay away from hellfire. And he said, do they have seen hellfire? He said, and they say, Ya Allah, they have not seen hellfire. And he said, what if they see the hellfire, what if they see Jahannam? What would happen to them? He said, they will run away from it. They will extremely flee from it. And, they, and, and, and with fear and with, uh, uh, with awe, and they will run away from this hellfire as much they, uh, uh, with extreme uh, impulse. And, 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 then, uh, and it's this conversation is happening with the angels. Uh, and then all of a sudden Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He said, you be witness, all you angels be witness that I have forgiven them, I have given them Jannah, and I have given them, uh, I have protected them from the hellfire, and I have given them uh, the closure they are looking for. And, and, uh, and, and then when this happens, this is proving the point that they say that they would cause chaos, they will cause dis disturbance. Yeah, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given three types of order. One was the executive order where he said that I'm going to create a khalifa on this universe where he said, and so the angel, they objected that they, they will cause fasad. We're the one who are uh, praising you and we're, we're completing, your, uh, completing the job that you're looking for. We're fulfilling the responsibility that you're looking for, which is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, so, he, so he ignored, ignored their, uh, 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 their, their objection and he said that Inni alamu, uh, ma la He said, I know better, th uh, I know better than, uh, I know something that you don't know. And, then, and to prove that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have taught Adam alayhi salam 
the things of everything that, that will be created on this universe. And the battle was taking place and the, and the debate was taken between the angels and, and, and uh, Adam salam. And when, uh, when the debate was taken, the first, first order was executive. He said, you do not know what, what do I know. And the second order was to, uh, 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 was, uh, 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 was called discipl disciplinary uh, order that, uh, that we call in, uh, in, the, in the language of law. Disciplinary order was given to the angels, that the names were also taught to the angels and was also taught to, the, to, to uh, 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 Adam salam and angels at the end, they failed uh, the debate against Ibrahim, uh, Adam as soon as they failed, so the, so the second order was done. Now this, uh, the, the third order, that was a principal order that, 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 was need to, uh, that, uh, that was taking place. Might, uh, someone might, uh, the, the angel might say that this, this is Adam alayhi he's salam. He's the father of the entire human being. But the generation later on, you know, um, uh, you know apple will fall far from the tree. There will be a point the apple will fall from the tree. They will not fulfill the responsibility that the Adam alayhi salam is fulfilling. The later human being that, that to come, like me and you, would not be able to fulfill, those, uh, fulfill the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they objected on. So to clarify that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed these angels to go search for, for me and you and sitting with, uh, sitting with solely purpose, only intention that we have is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, 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 and it made it so excited for, uh, exciting for the angels and to prove it to them that you be witness that I have forgiven them and I have given them Jannah and I have given them, uh, 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 protected them from the hellfire. So there's one uh, from the angels in the, com com uh, continue, the hadith continues. It says from the angel, there's, a, there's a one angel stands up and he says, Ya Allah, but there's one individu individual in the back, there's one person in the back, he had no intention to come into this gathering. He had no intention to come into this gathering. A lot of us, uh, uh, I see a lot of fathers and they bought their son they probably didn't want to come it, it sun, uh, uh, sun, uh, sun, uh, Sunday morning. They had to get up and come, and they had they were uh, they were annoyed. They didn't want to come. They had no purpose of it. They didn't know what was go what was going to happen. My father is constantly dragging me into this. You know, we have this uh, that's happening. Is uh, uh, maybe one of uh, one person that came, uh, like we have some guests from At uh, from Atlanta, Omar Saab. You know, he came from all the way from Atlanta for this, and some guests from Houston, they came. And maybe they have relatives around, they, they invited him, hey, come through, I'm here for, for this event. And to meet, uh, uh, meet my Hazrat, and after that, I will meet you. And they're probably sitting in the back waiting for the guests to finish up with his program, so they could meet him. He had no purpose to come to this gathering. He had no purpose to sit in, the, in this type of gatherings. But uh, uh, the angel, that he, he, he raises that question in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that person in the back is not, he had no intention to sit in this gathering. But subhanAllah, the, the, he said, the, the, the blessing and the virtue of, uh, of such people who are gathered for remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Majalis al zikr is such the, uh, that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that because of the blessing of these people, blessing of these zikr majalis, that person is also forgiven. The person in the back is also forgiven. He also earns Jannah and he also uh, uh, is protected from hellfire. And, 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 and this, this, this what shows and it says uh, uh, it says al It doesn't say any other institute. It doesn't say any madaris or anything. It says people who are solely coming for just the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these, these majalis and these gatherings of dhikr where the only thing that you're doing is chanting the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only thing that you're doing is uttering the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that the remembrance of Allah is, uh, is, is, is the comfort of your heart. And there's a research that was done in the University, university of Germany and APA. Uh, American uh, f uh, f uh, f Philosophical Association. The research was done over, uh, s they said about uh, 75,000 subjects were taken as a survey and research was done upon to the people. About 75 people were done and they said the only people that came, the most satisfied people in the, in the world were Muslims. And why they were satisfied? 
It's because the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, one, uh, and the constant remind, uh, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want, you can search it when you go back home. Because, and this, this research done in two years ago, and where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had uh, given us this blessing uh, 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 in the Quran uh, uh, 1400 years ago, that the, your, your satisfaction and your comfort of your heart is in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's, no, uh, there's, no there, there's no other way but only remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those people that come and they come together for, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they isolate themselves to just, just for remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and a tear drop falls from his eye. He said they will be under the shade of uh, under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa taala, where there will be no other shade. And that is and and dhikr is the only princ uh, basic principle that is taught in in tasawwuf in khanqa under uh, 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 under Sufism. This is one a uh, uh, number one rule number uh, number one principle that a person comes into uh, in, into a khanqa or sits with the sheikh. First thing that he does is is the purification of the heart to dhikr. Purification of the heart to dhikr is uh, doing do the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uttering the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over and over. And, it, uh, and, 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 and to conclude, uh, in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لا تقوم السعد حتى يقالوا الله الله. He said, the qiyamah will not take place to, uh, uh, t till the... Uh, Till the last person who, uh, till the last person who says Allah, Allah, and then when, when the last person is done, it doesn't say the person, the last person who's praying, it doesn't say the last person who's uh, who's performing uh, performing Hajj or giving zakat. It's saying saying just the utter of the name of Allah, just uttering the name of Allah would keep this universe alive. And if once that person is done, once the utter utterance of Allah uh, of the word of Allah subhanahu wa taala, once the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa taala is diminished, it finished and end. And so then, then, then the qiyamah will take place. And then so, so to take benefit from these places, as, uh, where these, as I told you, these, these gatherings are rare. You will not find uh, gatherings where there's, uh, where dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking place. Maybe in this masjid, maybe in this, uh, in this environment, and maybe a few other masajid. But nowhere else you would find where the people are solely coming just to chant and just to do the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the virtue of them is a person who did not even have intention. You know, they say for, if a person intention is wrong, in sadaqah, his sadaqah goes to waste. In this one, person doesn't even have intention, but that person is forgiven. The person doesn't even have intention, but that person is forgiven. He had no means of coming to it, just, just being touched and just sitting, just sitting out, of, uh, out, of, out of a need. That's what it mentioned in the, in, in the hadith. Out of a need. He had no purpose with that gathering. He just wanted to meet somebody. He had maybe, uh, we're holding his mic or something, or maybe holding his camera, he's just waiting there. You know, he said, just because of this, his, uh, uh, that person is forgiven. And uh, so may Allah give us the ability to take benefit from this and allow us to, uh, allow us to conduct more and more gatherings of uh, Majalis al-Dhikr. Wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.